the IVF lab, we collect and process eggs and sperm and put them together to make embryos. We then culture the embryos in the laboratory for anywhere from three to five days. At this point, we select embryos to transfer back to the patient, and we can also freeze excess embryos for future use. The primary activity in the IVF lab, I would say, is to really ensure that we're providing the most optimal environment for our patient's embryos. What we've done is we've actually designed the lab to mimic the natural uterine environment as much as possible. So everything that comes into contact with the embryos or the eggs is actually kept at 37 degrees Celsius, which is body temperature because we know that embryos and eggs are sensitive to temperature changes. We also have equipped the laboratory with a very high-tech air handling system that delivers only the purest, most clean air into the lab because again, we know that embryos can be sensitive to environmental toxins. An embryologist is the scientist that works in the IVF lab, and she performs all the procedures that take place in order to create the embryos for our patients. So the embryologist will be present during the egg retrieval. She identifies the egg in the uh, fluid from the ovary. She cleans it off and gets it ready for insemination. At the same time, she processes the sperm and make sure that we use only the most modal, healthiest sperm for insemination. The embryologist will closely monitor the embryos while they're developing in the laboratory. She prepares them for the transfer and assists the doctor during the transfer procedure. Embryologists also perform what are called micromanipulation techniques. And these are everyday procedures that take place in the lab. They include ICSI, where we inject one sperm into the egg to help with fertilization. Assisted hatching, where we create a small hole in the outer membrane or shell of the embryo to help the embryo implant into the uterus. As well as embryo biopsy, where we remove a small sampling of cells from the embryo in order to perform genetic testing. So these are all called micromanipulation techniques and they are very difficult because these eggs and embryos are microscopic. So what the embryologist does is she uses tools that they themselves are very small and almost microscopic and she attaches them to a microscope that has been flipped upside down. And the reason the microscope is flipped upside down is so that she can put this dish of eggs and embryos on top of it and look at them from underneath and then she lowers the tools into the dish and can perform the procedures. Quality control in the laboratory is probably the most important thing. We take it extremely seriously. In fact, we test every piece of equipment that comes into contact with eggs or embryos every single day before we do anything else. So we take the temperature of all the microscope stages to make sure they are warm. We take the temperature of every single incubator, we pH every single incubator before anything starts every day. And by doing this, we can really ensure that we are providing our patients and their embryos with the most optimal care.